Shri Guru Bhiwanamaha children, welcome to this class, online class. I know you feel bored sitting at home to sit in front of the monitor and listen to the lessons, but still we have to carry on. Today we are going to see a new prose lesson from Flamingo book, Deep Water. Let us see about the author. Deep Water was written by William Douglas, who was born in Maine, Minosta. After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in English and Economics, he spent two years teaching high school in Yakima. However, he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career. So, he wanted to change his career. He met Franklin D. Roosevelt at Yale and became an advisor and friend to the president. Douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights. He retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court. This is something which is very, very, very important. Longest serving justice in the history of the court. 36 years of service at a stretch. The following excerpt is taken from Of Men and Mountains by William O. Douglas. It reveals how as a young boy, William Douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool. In this essay, he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcame it. Notice how the autobiographical part of the selection is used to support his discussion of fear. Now children, when we talk about fear, everybody will have some fear. Some will be scared of cockroaches, some will be scared of lizards. Forgetting about it, when you go top of a building, to look down from the top of the building, you will feel so scared. Or some to look up at the high building, you will feel scared. So fear is something which is there within you and this fear will always stand on the way for one's development. But when we see about this author, William Douglas, he is so determined. He wants to get rid of this particular fear which he has. So he works persistently for it. His, his determinants make him work persistently. So what was his fear of? His fear was of water. When he was three or four years old, he once he went to the beach with his father. And as he was standing in the water, his father left his hand and a big wave swept him down and he was totally drowned in water. He got choked by drinking the sea water as well. Seeing this, the father who knew to what level he can leave his son just left him under the water and he started laughing seeing his son choking. But this young boy, he did not understand that the father is closely watching him and that was the first time when he got the fear of water. But still, like any parent, he father wanted him to get trained in swimming. So he put him in a swimming pool. He used to go with other children. He used to wear the padded wings so that he will not get submerged under water. So he used to practice swimming there. But one fine day, there was another incident which happened in his life. He was sitting at the edge of the swimming pool, putting his leg down into the water. No one was there. So he was hesitating to go into the swimming pool. The reason why he accepted to learn swimming in a swimming pool is he knows that the depth of water varies from one place to another place. And so, he is safe there under the custody of the instructor. As he was sitting all alone in the swimming pool, there came a boy, a big bully. What that boy did was that he carried him and dropped him into the water. And suddenly when something happens, it's going to be a big shock for you. And this shock will for a second make you perplexed. You will not know how to react. That was the same situation with William Douglas as well. As he was thrown into the water, he went deep and deep and deep under the water. Actually, the swimming pool was only 9 feet deep to the, the place where he was thrown into by that big bully boy. 
but going down that 9 feet was something a huge distance he felt as he was going down and down. Now in this lesson William Douglas is going to share his experience what happened to him when he started moving down the water, what were his plans to come up, how he planned to come out of the swimming pool that is what we are going to see in this particular lesson deep water. Like all of us have got some fear even William Douglas had the fear of water and that he is explaining through his autobiographical essay to us. Now it is going to be an eye opener for us. We may say that I am not able to learn this, I am not able to learn that, I am scared of this subject, I am scared of that subject. But he makes us understand that determinants that we have and the thought that we have that we should learn something persistently will definitely help us to overcome any type of problem. Now coming to the text, notice these words and expressions in the text, infer their meanings from the context. You have certain words over here and we have to infer the meaning to the context as to the essay written by William Douglas. Treacherous, here the meaning is deceptive, here the meaning given, contextual meaning given for the word treacherous is deceptive. Next subdued my pride. Here the contextual meaning is how we overcame or controlled. I will tell you what, now to do swimming in the particular swimming pool, his physical stature, he had a sort of feeling, he was very thin skinny to expose himself in a swimming pool, he was finding, he was feeling somewhat awkward but somehow he overcame his pride, that thought that he had in his mind, how he would appear if he is going to be standing almost in the swimming dress in near the swimming pool. Flailed at the surface. Here the contextual meaning is moved without control. Now children all these usages you will be seeing as we move about in the lesson. Next one fishing for landlocked salmon. It talks about when he goes out for fishing, what happened there. Next one, misadventure. It is nothing but the accident he, he faced in the swimming pool. The next one, bob to the surface like a cock. Bob means come up. You know what is a cock? Cock is made up of light wood. You would have seen that uh, fixing the bottles. Uh, those days when we used to get cough syrup from the doctor, they used to give it in a glass bottle fixed with a cock. And you can see this cock in the chemistry lab which is kept, uh, which is fixed to the bottles where you have solutions. It is made out of light wood. When you throw it into water, it will come up once again and like that bob to the surface like a cock. He had a thought that to come out of the surface, come out to the surface of the water from underneath like a cock used to come out when he was thrown into the swimming pool. 
curtain of life fell. Here, the meaning is approaching of death. Then back and forth across the pool, move up and down, and swim up and down across the pool. Now these usages you are going to see as we see the lesson. Now we will move on to the lesson. It had happened when I was 10 or 11 years old, I had decided to learn to swim. There was a pool at the YMCA in Yakima that offered exactly the opportunity. The Yakima river was treacherous. We saw this word treacherous already, which means deceptive. Here the meaning is deceptive. You do not know how the river will behave when you are there swimming. Mother continually warned against it and kept fresh in mind the details of each drowning in the river. The reason why the Yakima river is mentioned as treacherous is at times the flow of water will be more powerful which used to wash away the people who are practicing swimming there. But the YMCA pool was safe. It was only 2 or 3 feet deep at the shallow end and while it was 9 feet deep at the other. The drop was gradual. I got a pair of water wings and went to the pool. I hated to walk naked into it and show my skinny legs but I was subdued but I subdued my pride and did it. So the second usage subdued my pride. He felt so awkward to just walk there with his skinny legs exposed, but he wanted to learn swimming. He was so very, uh, in fact, determined to learn swimming. So he overcame this particular feeling and he just went to the pool. From the beginning, however, I had an aversion to water when I was in it. Aversion. He says he had an aversion. Aversion means dislike. So he didn't like entering into water. This started when I was 3 or 4 years old and father took me to the beach in California. He and I stood together in the surf. Surf is nothing but when you see the waves coming towards uh, the shore, the froth that you see, that is called as surf. So he and his father, when you go to the beach, you can see that when the water coming is coming towards the shore, when you stand there, you can see the froth of the water coming and annexing your legs. The same thing happened when the author was also three or four years old. He was there with his father in the beach. I hung on to him. Yet the waves knocked me down and swept over me. I was buried in water. My breath was gone. I was frightened. Father laughed. But there was terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the waves. Overpowering. Here. Overpowering means uncontrollable. The force of the waves always will be so powerful. Now when you stand in water, you will feel as though you are being dragged into the sea. Actually it is not dragging, but the sand that is there under your feet will be washed into the sea and so we get a feeling as though we are being dragged into the sea, but it is not actually that. But as a small boy of 3 or 4 years old, you can understand the amount of 
fear a boy will have when he when the wave is on top of him so i was telling earlier when i started the lesson how people used to get fear people used to experience fear fear of something or other the same way william or douglas is having a fear of water my introduction to the ymca swimming pool revived unpleasant memories revived brought back always you know pretty well that our experiences that we experience in life after many number of years we will once again feel it we will once again it the memories will once again come back to us the same thing he is narrating here my introduction to the ymca swimming pool revived unpleasant memories unpleasant not enjoyable he doesn't like it the memories are not good for him and stirred childish fears stirred brought back and uh, it uh, arose the fears arose once again in his heart the fear that he had when he was a child that came back once again the fear when he was 3 or 4 years old which he experienced in a beach came back once again at the ymca pool but in a little while i gathered confidence so the determination in his mind he gathered confidence and he became more confident and he had the thought that definitely he will come over the fear and he will learn swimming i paddled with my new water wings paddled moving hands and feet up and down so that is the way when you learn swimming they will tell move hands like this or move your legs like this the instructor will be coaching the same thing also happened in this ymca swimming pool but in a little while i gathered confidence i paddled with my new water wings watching the other boys and trying to learn by aping them aping means <clears throat> imitating imitating what the other children were doing the same thing he was also doing I did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease. Feel at ease, comfortable. In the water when the misadventure happened. Misadventure an accident we already saw this particular word this accident occurred for him i went to the pool when no one else was there the place was quiet quiet very silent the water was still and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bath tub I was timid about going in alone timid he lacked courage he didn't want to go into the water when nobody else was there I was timid about going in alone so I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others so he wanted the other kids to come to the swimming pool and so he waited for the other kids there 
I had not been there long when in came a big bruiser. Bruiser is none other than a bully, a huge boy. He came there. Bruiser of a boy, probably 18 years old. He had thick hair on his chest. He was a beautiful physical specimen. Specimen means model. He appeared to be like a model with a beautiful physique. That is what is meant here. With legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. Rippling means waving. The curves of the muscles were seen there very clearly. He yelled, hi skinny, how do you like to be ducked, ducked, dived or thrown into water. That is what he meant. With that, he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end. See what happened next? There was a mishappening. Tossed. He was thrown. Here, throw up. So, the bully came there. He carried the skinny boy, William Douglas, and threw him into the water. I landed in a sitting position, swallowed water. So, he drank the water in the swimming pool and went at once to the bottom. So, the force at which he was thrown, when you throw a stone into the water, it will go and land at the bottom. The same way, he also went and landed there. I landed in a sitting position, swallowed water and went at once to the bottom. I was frightened, but not yet frightened out of my wits. Out of my wits, as though he went mad. He did not reach that particular situation. On the way down, I planned. When my feet hit the bottom, I would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool. So what he started planning. Now everyone plan for events when we want to something, do something. Suppose you are preparing for your exams, you will plan, I will get up at this time. From this time to this time, I will read this subject. So, you will have a plan. The same way, unexpectedly, he is thrown into the water. But still, he plans. He says that, I will plan myself. Check how long it will take for me to reach. And once I reach the water, what I will do, he plans. I would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool. So, he wants to come to the surface and then swim to the edge of the pool and come to safety.